Alrighty, we're going to be going through Masters Workout 22.1 today, so um, wish me luck. Seven rounds for time, 30 double unders, three snatches, and three bar facing burpees. So, should be an interesting one, um, and I'll hopefully be able to give you guys some tips on where I probably went wrong, and hopefully you can improve from there. See you soon. There's a fire inside and it just can't hide it. There's a fire in So the first thing you'll notice, um, I'm not actually wearing a shirt. This is definitely intentional. When you're doing CrossFit, anything that has a body weight movement, try and make yourself as light as possible. Go to the toilet, take any excess clothing off, um, anything you can do to make yourself lighter. Even having a shave, you can lose 100 grams. I've tested it before, trust me. Um, first movement is your double unders. This is just an essential skill in CrossFit. You need to have um, a, a stable foundation being able to do dubs. Um, probably too late now if you don't have them down pat, but it's something that you should be working on now for the open. So coming in 10 seconds in, I think you need to have a strategy um, going forward in this workout. I think you need to realize that seven rounds isn't gonna be done in you know, under five minutes. You'd have to be quite the weapon. Um, you gotta think about how long it's gonna take you. You do not wanna stuff up on the dubs. You wanna go the dubs unbroken. So, simply setting out a strategy where you think you can have enough energy in reserve to be able to get through those dubs without breaking is your first starting point. Your second decision that you need to contemplate before you even start is on those snatches, are you going to do touch and goes or are you going to scan a drop? You can see that I've, um, I went with the drop option. That was simply because when you go for touch and goes, you've got to bring the bar down, you've got to control it, that takes up excess energy. Yes, it will be faster, but is that going to be costing you down the track? I would suggest if you intend on resting any way whatsoever in this workout, um, do not do touch and goes on the snatches. Just drop the bar, take a breath between each rep and, and maintain a consistent pace. Um, breaking it up and pacing it this way is going to get you at the end of the line quicker than as if you do unbroken in the first three rounds and then you need to take 10 second breathers in between sets or in between um, movements. You need to take extended br breaks. It's just, you gotta balance that up. Um, play it smart. In these uh, snatches, you'll notice that um, though they start off pretty good, but down the track, um, your hands, I found if the weather's hot, um, which most CrossFit boxes are stinking hot, that your hands get sweaty. Um, it makes the bar very hard to hold onto down the track when you're trying to do it. So obviously you're trying to use hook grip, um, but you still are going to pay a price if you don't keep your hands dry. So keep that bar dry. Um, there's our strategies such as using wristbands, which would be a game changer in this workout if I was to redo it again. I'll definitely wear sweatbands around the, around the wrist to maintain dry hands. So that's one point I'm going forward. Um, I'd also like to point out that, so you can see here how I'm laying down the skipping rope. Just doing little strategies like that means you're not fighting with a tangled rope. So don't throw the rope down in between um, transitions. Just place it down neatly and have it ready for your next round. That's gonna save you down the track. That's something that I did right, and I'd like to see you um, 
make those correct decisions. With your burpees over the bar, really on the eccentric, which is the lowering phase of the, of the burpee, just let yourself drop into that floor. You can waste a lot of energy here by trying to control the movement on the way down, but just let yourself flop. Um, there's no shame in doing that. There's, there is only three reps in the burpees, so that's probably out of the three movements that you've got, um, definitely the also bring up the point about pacing. You've got to go into this event with a strategy. I was sort of walking in the dark, but hopefully by you guys watching this video, you've got some sort of expectation about how long each round is going to take. I probably went on reflection a little bit too quick in that first round. My split was a 102. And I've seen that every other split after that has been a 115. And now I know for a fact that right now, I'm really starting to hurt. Um, and we're only what into the fourth round. If I'd just gone that little bit slower in the first round, I wouldn't be hurting as much. And I'd probably be able to back it up a little bit faster towards the end of the workout. Talking now again about burpees, um, some people can really fly through the burpees. I think you've got to weigh up whether it's your strength or not. For me, I'm heavy and I'm tall. So for me to bring, bring my legs all the way back up towards my hands, it takes a lot, of, um, a lot of strength and it really is fatiguing. If I push too hard in those burpees, and, and, and we've just been talking about pacing, I'm really gonna suffer the consequences down the track. You can also see here, um, I believe I miss um, a, a break in these dubs, so that's something I've also been about that you don't want to do. And I think I just missed it like at two reps, two reps shy of 30, so that was really quite frustrating. And here it just shows that I'm, I'm hurting and I've gone out too hard because I've got to go and have a drink, so this is definitely something you want to avoid. So I would suggest making sure you're hydrated before the event. You know the event's gonna take less than 10 minutes. So ideally, you're just wanting to not drink during the workout. So you should not have to drink in a 10 minute workout. It's just gonna be wasted time. Plan your hydration a little bit better than what I did. Obviously, another thing I'd like to point out is my posture when I'm between reps, there's often quite a period where I'm hunched over. If I'd just taken that extra half a second to take a few deep breaths regularly and consistently throughout the workout, I really would have, um, that's another way of being more efficient with your breathing. So thinking about breathing is something to consider. You can also see that that workout, that round was a shitload slower. So, having the drink of water, the built up fatigue, definitely shows went out too hard. I'd also like to point out that there is a strategy of, with the burpees, of stepping up. Um, that's something definitely that I want to start exploring a little bit more with myself. I know one of my teammates, Frankie, kills it on the burpees using that strategy. So, just stepping up making it more efficient and then turning as you're jumping over the bar. Little things like that um, that I wish I could have gone back and changed is something to look at in the future. Right now we're coming in towards that last round. Um, there's not much more to say but just enjoying that I'm in a world of pain. Yeah. If you guys have got any other strategies or anything that you would like to um, suggest that I could improve, you know, we're a community here and um, if you see anything that you think, wow, I would have, I wish you would have done that, that would have made him a faster um, time, let me know. Just chuck it down in the comments section. Um, the final round, basically, you got to throw out strategy out the door. Just, you've got to burn whatever you've got left. I'm all hunched over there, but um, 
I'm hurting right now. But you've just got to fight through. You've got to find something in that last round. I found here particularly was where my hands were slipping on that bar. I was really struggling to grip. There's me wiping on, on my pants, trying to clean my hands because it, it was literally like I was just getting out of a shower. That's how wet my hands were. Um, obviously my burpees picked up a lot of speed this last round. If I was better at burpees, this is how they should be done the whole way through, but not my strength. And here I am, ready to die. <laughs> but good luck guys. If you got any other suggestions, please reach out and let me know because it will help me. And I hope that you guys have learned something valuable from the, the workout. So by watching me and my mistakes, that's how we learn. Cheers, guys.